This is called Detect 2. 29,000 people, 11, uh, 13 different populations, Asian, African, European, uh, Caucasian, uh, Hispanic, uh, Asian, I mean, a really a very, very mixed group. 29,000 people, including about 21,000 of them in the sub-diabetic range who had standardized eye photographs done and a standardized A1C. And what you see here is that below 6.5, there is virtually no diabetic retinopathy. There were six cases out of 21,000 people, okay? Whereas above 6.5, Starting at 6.5 to 7, there's an a step up increase, and then it goes up. Higher the A1C, the greater the prevalence of retinopathy. So that's the data added to the three studies in the Pimas, the Anhanes, and the Neruans that I showed you before. So again, virtually no moderate retinopathy below an A1C of 6.5%. It turns out that it performed very well. Here's the A1C with a high sensitivity and specificity. Um, and on the basis of this association and all of the other things I've told you about the MSA, we decided that an A1C greater than or equal to 6.5% is a reasonable cutoff for diagnosis, and that's what we selected. We also decided to be a little bit conservative here. There was an argument that, oh, you're going to be missing people with diabetes, maybe make it 6 or 6.1, but again, I'll point out there was no retinopathy in the level below 6.5, essentially none. And we decided to be a little bit more conservative, to err on the side of a specificity rather than sensitivity. 